Hello friends, today we're going to be making crepe manicotti. This is a fun Italian dish. We all love it. It's a nice cheesy filling. Makes you feel all warm and fuzzy inside. Instead of using heavy pasta, we're going to wrap our filling in some light crepes. So first we got to make our crepe batter. It's really easy. You mix it up in a bowl, but I'm going to use my blender. Now I'm just making enough for myself, so this is like half of a standard dish recipe. I'm going to take one egg. Quarter teaspoon of salt. And I want three eighths of a cup of flour. Of course, that's a measuring cup that doesn't really exist. So we'll grab our quarter. Try to eyeball about half of that. that. Looks pretty close. And we want the same amount of water. So there's a quarter. And there's about half of that. And we want it to look like a uh, pretty thin pancake batter when we're done. So I'm just going to put this in here and I have a really strong blender, but you know, your mileage will vary, but any blender will do for this. I'm going to pulse it up. Alright, and that is all set. Our batter is very light, it just kind of coats, a little bit more than coats the spoon. And that's going to be just fine. So what we need to do now is we need to let this rest in our fridge for about an hour and that's going to give the uh, flour some time to suck up some of that moisture. So we'll be back. Alright, it's been about an hour. Our, our batter is ready. I have a medium flame here with a little bit of butter in my nonstick pan. And we are going to go to make our crepes here. What you do here is you put a little bit of batter in the middle and then work to spread it out. Keep it nice and thin. He's going to cook really quick. Be really thin and light. And it's kind of like cooking a pancake. We're going to wait for the bubbles. And if you have a good nonstick pan, you see how that's just floating around in there right now. And I know a couple people with absolute the uh, ridiculously thick fingers that can just go and do this. I'm not one of them. But there you go. It's really light there. So a little bit on each side. And there we have our crepe that we're going to make our manicotti. I'm going to make a couple more of these. And here's our last crepe. Now you can have these crepes made up ahead of time and fill them whenever you're ready. So that's what we're going to do. It's not dinner time yet, but I was doing some other stuff in the kitchen, so 
we'll fill up these crypts and make our manicotti when we come back. But that's what they look like. They won't stick. There's plenty of butter. Okay guys, I'm going to show you how we finish up our, our manicotti. I got our individual gratin dishes here. I start with a little bit of sauce here. These things are great because this way we can give them all to people individually. I'm going to grab one of our crepes. Take some of our uh, ricotta filling, which there'll be a link in the video to it. Put it on the bottom. And then just roll it up. And put seam side down in there. And we're going to repeat the process. You want to do two or three to a serving. And you see my crepes didn't stick together at all. I told you they wouldn't. Alright, now I put them in here. And then we're going to dress them with our sauce. I'm going to cover this in foil and it's going to go in a 350 oven for about 25, 20 to 25 minutes. So I'll show you what it looks like when they come out. All right. Our crepe manicotti are out of the oven. We're going to serve them right in the individual au gratin dish. Garnish with a little bit of Parmesan cheese. And just a little bit of parsley and there you go crepe manicotti enjoy please like and subscribe